Sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, he got called out to a hit. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at a farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. OK. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. Working late, Ralphie? I says his sleep when F -F Frank sleeps. Man, he's been working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ralph. Booze records where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, well, I, I just f -f -f fixed the cars to time. I, I changed the p -p plates again. You can't be too careful. See you in the morning. Okay. Heaven Radio.
All officers, search is called up. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrols. <laughs> Come on, Tom! Hey, hey! Watch it, pal! Just dry it out! Sorry. You know this place? Oh, uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it there later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, uh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. I he was a stone-cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. I will pay to keep this place in check. Don't even pretend to farm now. This don't feel right.
place is derelict. Weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! This feels right. This was a setup. Wow! It's me, Tom! Polly! What took you so long? We're looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. The cops, Tommy. How would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy, all right. Make Lost Heaven PD look like pussycats. Okay, we search the farm, find Sam, Get the hell out. Anyone else? We slip them the bump. You get it? Sam! Sam! Where the hell are you? You 
want to quiet down, Polly? Tommy! You don't want to see this! Jesus. Looks like we found the Canadians. You see Sam in there? No. <sighs> like some. They were waiting for us. We're dead. We should go. Right now. You hear something? Poor bastards. Check every building.
Christ. We gotta get to him. You boys stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. Okay, okay, just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, mm. stay here with him. I'll be back, I'll be back in a flash. Okay. survived worse. You sure? You sure we are? Where'd all these guys come from? See Take them down, Tom! <laughs> <laughs> And Donnie too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. Come on. 
Holy, we can't lose him! We did it! We did it! Okay, we're here, Tom. You get Sam out. I'm gonna go wake up the doc. Sam, Sam. We made it. We're at the doctor's house. This is three, I owe you. What are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. <laughs> the Doc's already got his hands full. No sense of both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. We'll be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight. Professional economists 
have changed their definition of economic laws every five or ten years for a very long time. But I do have faith and retain faith in the strength of common purpose and in the strength of unified action taken by the American people. The president there speaking earlier this year on the National Recovery Administration. You're late. Dinner's cold. Work. Hey, Beth. They came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, 
You do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Tough day today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. When Frank sees a Lapara, he'll know. The old ways work. I didn't see this coming now from Frank. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Territory as they take on bitter rivals, the Empire Bay Cannons. This year's Gold Series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. Despite the Cannons' home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the Lancers have found...
everything okay, Tom? Nah. Nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom, what's going on? Seven of the Gold Series. And by the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be underway any minute now. The crowd here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the tension as we approach this, the deciding game between these two famous rivals. More than a little bad blood between them and more than a couple of nasty flare-ups in recent years. Of course, this occasion, more than any other, could prove feisty. What with the drama that closed out the previous game. That, of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series, and it's not often Empire Bay and Lost Heaven can boast the game's best current hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancer star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers, Elms, Graves, and Nicholson. Smith seemed to have pepped them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the Armory, the home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more. A job well done depends on tools and materials that aren't going to let you down. At Edmunds, all items are guaranteed to be of the highest quality and best priced locally. For fixtures, paints, lumber, and more, visit Edmunds Tools, home of the Edmunds Price Guarantee. The mission of Lost Heaven Radio, our city's public service broadcaster, is to serve you. Start your day with WLH 570. Hello? Yes, we need help right away. Officers downtown. Some fella near you is driving like a madman. like the place. Take me to those account books, Frankie.
they moving you to? Some kind of meat happening. Shit. They taking you to the airport, Frank? They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good.
plane they're gonna use is Don Morello's. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Some guy the feds are handing over before he's flown out in a civilian plane. Morello hasn't the honor to even show his face. For a rat like you? Nah. Get in the car.
fire! Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March, Alice. 
Get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You've been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Damn you, Frank. Sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Beautiful day, huh? Uh huh. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. Got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. 
Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. Dead him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. See, si. who capisce you? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy, Tommy Angelo. Piacere di di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Pifauri. <laughs>